let it, let it bang. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to yet another entrepreneur vlog. So today I am back and I'm trying out something new for some new merchandise that I am going to add to my site. So if you guys seen the title, then you already know what I'm working with today. Um, I finally bought my Cricut machine. Um, I guess I don't know if y'all want like a. I don't know if y'all want like a tour of the machine. I don't really know too much about it, but I can tell y'all what I know so far. Um, and we're just gonna get into all the good stuff. Um, it's gonna be a learning experience together. So yeah, but before we jump into this video, um, I do want to shout out a small, a small business. Remember y'all, if you are a small business like myself, I am doing right now, First of all, let me say, get it now while you can, while it's free, okay? Um, but free um, small business shout out. So all you have to do is check the description box and you can send whatever you want from your store to my PO box. Just make sure you include a um, business card or whatever you, know, you want me to include in your shout out and I will do so. So today's business, um, I got the package in this black mailer and everything pretty much came um in this purple organza bag so right here um she did add an invoice so i know everything that i have in this package and the instagram is gorgeous underscore gal this is the business card which is pretty cute so i'm just gonna show you guys what i have in here um we got these earrings here they're like kind of like kind of like rectangular earrings and they kind of like loop around next we have the oatmeal scrub and i can tell that she actually uses the cricut for her labeling because it's like kind of 3d the gloss and the lip oil we got the scalp balm this is the vanilla sugar soap and she uh, pretty much like her logos on here and she just shrink wrapped it. And then this is the unicorn So I like the branding a lot, it's really cute. That is the small business for today. Like I said, make sure you guys check the description box. Now let's get into the good stuff. Now that we're here, now that I have you here, um, I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how I set it up or what I know so far um, so this is like I said the Cricut Explore Air 2 um, so as far as the plugs go um, you plug in let me turn this this plug goes into the wall and into the Cricut this plug goes into the Cricut and then into um, your computer so because I have a MacBook I have to use an adapter and I just plug this cord into the adapter and the adapter into the computer um and then pretty much hold on you just pull up the Cricut design space and once you get it it tells you how to set it up and everything but let me show y'all something look I still got the plastic on there but look check this out check it out check it out oh, oh my gosh it's 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 so if you guys see my previous unboxing haul then you guys know or my most recent unboxing video you know that i got the cricut tools as well um just a quick disclaimer for anyone who wants to buy a cricut the tools that you um use to extract your designs from the vinyl do not come with the cricut um so really quick i'm just going to design what i want to be on my project today and we're just gonna get into it and see what happens. I played with this once before just to see if I could label a lip gloss with it and it worked. It took me a couple of times to figure it out, but I did get it, so we'll see how this goes. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, y'all, so I have my design designed on Canva. I downloaded it, but really quick, I just wanna tell you guys that the paper, the vinyl, not the paper, the vinyl, um, I got the heat transfer iron on vinyl from Amazon. Um, I'm gonna add it to my Amazon store so you guys can just go straight to my Amazon store and download it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna use a black one first. And I don't really know the best way to go about this. So if you're a pro, 
comments and tips down below but please don't go in on me because this is only what my second third time using my cricket what i'm doing this for is my body suits um this is the 1k green by the way um and i want it to go right there but i don't really want it to go all the way across the leg i don't think i don't really know if you're supposed to do it this way but like i said trial and error i crawl so y'all can walk and I walk so y'all can run, so learn from my mistakes, young kids. <laughs> learn from my mistakes. I just cut this small piece here. And let me show you guys. I'm literally just going to line it. By the way, this little mat that comes with it is very, very sticky. Um, but I'm just going to line it up to... match this corner here and clearly my cut was not perfect because it's very slanted but uh, hopefully it's not too bad let me use the other edge not the bang okay that i feel like that's as good as it's gonna get because i didn't really cut it as straight as I should have but this button here basically rolls the mat in um so this right here is basically um the little I don't even know what this is called I'm terrible at this stuff but power button this basically is what type of vinyl or material material you're using so I'm using iron on so turn it to iron on and this is just a pause button this button like I said kind of like locks in the mat and when it done when it's done printing you can unlock it and pull it out um, this is basically like the print button and that's pretty much it for the control buttons and then this open button here I don't even know what this is but yeah so like maybe I should screen record so let me do that and we're recording okay so um, I'm gonna click new project and I'm just gonna make the screen a little bit bigger and I'm gonna upload my design so browse downloads I know it's gonna be down here don't mind chai okay so open and I'm just, I, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with um, moderately complex as the image type because it's not super detailed, but it's not like super simple. This sun is killing me. So continue. And then here um, on this screen, you basically select what you want to erase. So I click the background and I'm just trying to get that white out. In between the letters and the extra background okay continue and I personally from my knowledge and what I've learned you could do save as a print then cut image so you could save it for whatever you whatever type of image you want to do I'm just gonna do both a print and a cut image um, now I'm going to type, title it Body Suit Logo. Okay, it's there. Now I clicked on it and I'm going to click Insert Images. And I'm just looking on the mat here. And the vinyl that I cut out ends at the number six. So I just want to make sure the size that I make it on the actual template here is no bigger than the size six. So I'm just gonna drag all the way out to the number, like halfway to number six, um, to like five and what? I don't know what that is, <laughs> not five and a half, but okay. So I did that and then I'm gonna click make it. Um, and then I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so it just taught me something. Uh, the material set to iron on um, and it says to actually make sure the mirror is turned on um, in iron on material 
is face. Okay, so let me roll that back out because the shiny part is supposed to be face down. They taught me something. Wait, which side? Okay, yeah. Shiny part should be face down. And let me go back to edit. I'm gonna click mirror. So mirror basically reverses it because I'm gonna iron it on and it's gonna mirror actually where I need it to. And I'm gonna put this back in here. Mirror turned on, shiny side down. Okay, and I'm going to press the C. So, I'm gonna click this button here. And then it says preparing. And there it goes. Okay, so I did something wrong. Stop. So clearly, I don't know if you guys can see, but I kind of like scratched up the mat. So I did not make it, or I made it too big rather. I think this piece is ruined. I'm gonna do it again and we're gonna resize this. This is a learning opportunity for everybody because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, so update, I figured out what was going wrong. So I had it, I had the mat on this side, which I think might be centimeters, but according to, the screen on the computer i'm actually using inches which is why it was cutting like all the way over here so i'm going to try it again recut the vinyl and yeah all right so i did the same thing but i cut the vinyl way bigger this time so we're going to make it and we're going to click mirror and then continue and i'm going to click the c button it says preparing and it's cutting again Close door. That's going to be really big. Alright y'all, so it's done printing and let me just say I printed it entirely too big but I can definitely use this for something else to iron it on but let me pull it all so y'all can see. I think y'all should be able to see. There it goes right there. That's like really, really big. Um, So I definitely need to figure out how to what's the word measure on here what is what because it says one thing and then it prints out another thing it didn't look this big let's try it again don't give up don't quit but i mean y'all probably will have an easier time than me if y'all would just read the directions but like i said i'm not a direction reader so i just like to wing it that's just how i am but like i said this is the one I just printed out. Um, so let's see. So while that's going, actually, um, I bought this here. Um, this is a Cricut Easy Press 2. I've never opened this before, so let's do that. This is what it looks like fresh out the box. Pretty cute. And it comes with this little sitting plate. When I'm dumping stuff, I just put it back in the box. So, okay, they have this little pamphlet here with directions and then a quick start guide. So, one set time and temperature, plug in power on your press. 
set the temperature for 290 get prepped well if i mess this bodysuit up it's okay because it's mine I'd rather try it on my own before i try it on the ones that i'm gonna sell so i'm gonna break this plastic on the easy press take it off literally just a big iron we're gonna stick this in here and plug it up let me show y'all what this one came out like this one looks much better um where's that okay so this one is much smaller as y'all can see i think that's more my speed so i'm gonna cut it out and let me go into my tool bag and I'm gonna get this tool here. I don't know what this tool is called, but it came in the tool bag that I got from Amazon. So um, I will link it in the description box. Sorry that this video is all over the place. Like I said, I haven't had much, much practice, so it's a learning experience. I don't want y'all to think that I just be knowing everything because I don't. So. I'm gonna place this back onto the mat and I'm going to separate the 1k design from I want y'all to see this I don't know how I can turn my camera so right now really hard to get this angle but I am using this tool in my hand to basically separate the 1k design from the extra vinyl so I basically want the 1k design to be the only thing that's staying on here so I'm kind of like pulling at it so I know you can guys can kind of see like I'm getting somewhere here you can see the one all right so I am finished and it looks the right way to you guys because the vlog camera flips everything but it's backwards from what I'm looking at. So um, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to go down to the floor and actually practice with this easy press before I Welcome do. to my floor. So my easy press is here and it's actually warmed up. I can definitely feel it just from sitting next to it. Um, so for... For the directions, they actually gave you like a little, um, example to play with. So they gave you this little cricket thingy in the, um, container. So I'm just going to use this hoodie to help iron on. Lay the bag on top as it says, and then it says to... Iron the surface first. Then it says position and press. So I'm guessing you could just place it right on there. I don't want to burn anything. I'm really scared actually, but I'm gonna just do it. Um it says position the pre-cut iron on material like so. Um shiny side should be facing up. Yep. Um, place circuit easy press on top. Start the timer and apply gentle pressure until it beeps. So I'm really scared, but we're just gonna do it. So it says place it on top and press the C to start the timer. And it says apply gentle pressure. Y'all are witnessing this, so um, probably my strength because I'm really scared. I'm like moving it back and forth, but I'm really terrified. Y'all pray for me. We gonna see though. And it's counting down. I want y'all to see that it is counting down. And it beeps when it's done. Oh crap. Okay. Quick side note, um, I did learn that to set the temperature, you click this button, the timer, you click this button. Um, to make sure that it's set or to change it, you push the up and down button. But to make sure it's uh, set and to confirm, you just push the button again. But, I mean, 
it seems pretty ironed on to me there's a spot that's kind of like lifting up a little bit so i'm gonna do it again all right so this side is done and it says to flip it over and iron it again just to make sure it says to pull the corner up Okay, and then it says remove the liner in OMG. It freaking worked. Okay, so we definitely can do this. I literally just did my first Cricut iron on. Um, this is just a little bag, but so you don't need any parchment paper in between. You just iron it on. So I'm going to get the stuff for the bodysuit and we're gonna do the same it's the freaking moment of truth um i have my bodysuit down here um i brought my board it has the monkey babe on there I'm just gonna peel that off looks like she looks good and let's just do this i'm so scared i really hope that y'all can see this but i'm going to iron my surface just so that it is nice and ready and flat. I'm gonna. Why am I breathing so hard? I'm really scared. Like, come on. Putting this right above the seam, nice and straight. Oh, duh. <laughs> Putting it above the seam, nice and straight. So basically, the purpose of doing it um, backwards is so that when you lay it down flat, it'll lay the correct way. So, like I said, laying it right on the seam right above the seam rather and i'm so so nervous so this is what it will look like right there put it on there press the timer and hope for the best i'm freaking nervous i'm really scared y'all pray my strength in the lord because if this comes out wrong, I'm gonna be pissed. But like I said, this is my bodysuit, so if all else fails, I'm gonna be the one to jack the bodysuit. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Moment of truth. Oh snap. She looks good. And then we're gonna reverse it and iron the back. Let's try this again. Oh, it's hot. So be careful. Not the bad yang. OMG, y'all. Oh my God. This looks so official, dog. It got the nerve to be shining and nodding and all that. Okay then. Okay, sis. I like the, let's try it again. All right, kids. I just made another. Uh, <laughs> I just made another. Day. I just did another. Uh, join with the. Uh, One connection CEO. I just did another design with the Cricut and the Cricut Easy Press, and I just put this on my mask. So literally, you can use the iron-on. I'm gonna be talking with the mask. Literally, you can use the iron-on vinyl for. Anything, any type of fabric that you want to iron anything on, I'm gonna be making t-shirts and masks all day. So um all day. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed yet another entrepreneur vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and drop your questions down below that you guys want me to answer for the Star and Lexus QA, which I want to know about me. Y'all wanna get in my business, so let me know what y'all wanna know.
But um, see y'all in the next one. I look at how mess. I'm tired. 1K CEO. Period. We out.